What's up guys, it's Scorcher and Zach here with a special video because it's not a how to build this week. It's it's a one year anniversary. Yay! Small congratulatory party for the both of us. And to celebrate, we even have like a little special uh, promotion today. For those that aren't haven't liked the Facebook page, there's a competition going. I have a one three month Xbox Live Gold subscription to give away to the first person that can correctly answer or tell me where they see each black colored halo vehicle to in this map. Alright, that's each black colored halo vehicle and where it's located to in the map. And just to start it off as well, we've got some more good news. Starting as of next month, on a Friday or Saturday during the middle of the month, we're going to be starting hosting uh, some game nights. So if you're uh, Bit of a forger or a custom games player in Halo or you like some Gears of War, better start practicing your skills because we'll be hosting them once a month from now on during the middle of the month. For more details on that, That's you can just go... That's news to me. That is news to you. I thought I'd break that out to you as well. So, you know, surprise! But to find more details on what games we'll be playing and when we'll be playing that, just go like my Facebook page, which will be in the link dump below or in the video description. And, yeah. So... Let's get this video started. I figured why not uh, do what I did last year to start off my uh, little show. I will have Warner in my face. I figured why not do a highlight of my world. So, last year I did one world, this year is a different world. So without further ado, this was Project X. Ah! <laughs> it's behind me, isn't it? Uh, I know my house is out there, you can see it from here. Ah, really? Well, that's the map, and this is Project X. So, you might have heard me and Zach mention this in the few videos that we've done, called it the Project X, one year anniversary video, blah blah blah. But it was just basically a rebuild of uh, the city from last year, with more improvements, it's all creative, and it's just basically us going stupid. So, there are some like trial builds in here for community builds, there's just some of my own stuff. But, uh, let us start. I mean, we'll start with the statues. I mean, here's some ones that might be coming up. We've got some, we've got Bumblebee from Transformers. I mean, we've got Captain America here. I mean, what, might have remembered seeing him from the How to Die video. I mean, he's even got his shield on the back. Like I said, and this is just a prototype world. It's a work in development. So, if you see stuff that doesn't look like it's half finished or half assed, uh, it's just a work in progress. Uh, over that side we have Optimus Prime, we have Iron Man, a uh, build that you all might look familiar, it's Big Ben. This is actually the remastered version, because this is actually made out of smooth sandstone and nether quartz blocks. Or quartz pillar stone, whatever it's called. Whatever it's called. Uh... Now we have some statues that you might recognise. We have Ezio, Coltrane and Chief. Yeah, it's, 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 they're there. And then we have Connor. Oh yeah, I did him a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Bird from Gears of War Judgment. And Cortana. Now, Cortana statue pre... I built her before the Halo mashup pack comes out. So that's why she doesn't look like the one from the mashup pack, skin pack thing. Yeah. She'll get rebuilt later on. Ah, uh, moving on. Moving on. Uh, we're coming up to my house now. I mean, we have the lovely Achievement Hunter logo. And then we have my house. Which, <laughs> is for those that don't know what this is, this is actually the, uh, it's the White House. It's also what is the display picture for my channel header at, on my YouTube channel. Because of the toad heads and stuff. So let's go for a quick wander inside. I mean, it's not decked out at all because I'm not an interior decorator. Mega Builder I am! Interior decorator I am not! As that is... the carpets I did. I did the carpet. Oh, right. Alright, that carpet. So, Zach must have been smoking something good when he came up with this carpet design because that was what he came up with. And, yeah, he must have had something good. But yes, this even has a Oval Office in here, sort of, and by Oval Office, 
I mean, it's just got the Trophy Hunter logo in there, which is pretty cool. And you got a nice, nice balcony view out over the statues of the city. Nope, not going to look to over there, or over there. And then just to top it off, we'll go right up the top to where I have my own rooms. Ugh. So, got a pool. Just a, it's just a pool. Nothing spectacular. And on the other side, just a giant ass library. Because why not have a giant ass library on the roof of the White House? And on top of that, on each side, I have my gardens. Because, you know, when you start Google searching the White House a lot, pretty sure you're going to get told off by some, you know, important people. So th <laughs> that's why the roof of the White House does not probably look like the roof of the White House. But I did the best I could. Like I said, you can only search it so much before you're probably going to get told off for why you're looking up the White House so much. But there's the back part of it, which apparently is actually the front of it. I mean, I'm Australian. Give me a break. I tried my best. <laughs> but at the back, I mean, it's got a nice view. I mean, had all those statues out the front. Thought I'd put the best one out the back. And... <laughs> it's uh, me as the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> so... <laughs> as, um... For those that didn't just pick that up straight away, instead of holding a book, he's holding a jigsaw piece. Because, uh, he collects jigsaw pieces in these games. Or jiggies, as they are called. He's got the last torch there. We'll just continue on in the background. Now, this was a trial build of a community requested video that will be coming out. Mm, whenever I get around to actually making it. And for those that haven't picked up what this is, this is actually the Call of Duty multiplayer map from Black Ops 2 called Hijacked. Yes, that's right. I I I played Call of Duty and made a multiplayer I'm map. I'm ashamed as well, but you know what? Someone requested it and I thought it looked cool, so I thought I'd give it a crack. So for all the Call of Duty All the Call of Duty Yeah, it's Halo. So for all you Call of Duty Black Ops 2 fans, oh, let's see how good you are at picking this out. I mean Hopefully I built it right. I reckon this is actually my most detailedest build I have actually done in this world. So uh, I'm actually going to go through a run through through the whole inside because, you know, I played a lot of Black Ops 2 on PC just to, you know, figure this out. I mean, I was playing by myself. I didn't understand how to play the game or sprint or run or shoot or anything like that. But nonetheless, I still played it. I can get points for trying, right? Uh, did I go in there? I did go in there. So, what do we got in here? We've got the little balcony and stuff. And we've got... Oh, we've got the dining room. We've got the, the piano and stuff that I kind of built. Yeah. Then we've got that, that, uh, that room that's all on fire. You know, that, that room. And then we have the uh, the bridge that I forgot to put at the back there, but you know, it, it's the bridge. There we go downstairs, and then you can go inside, and there's the kitchen, and there's the wine rack, and 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 where's the engine room? It's down here, engine room. Ah! I really don't know how to play COD. I I honestly don't. But there's the engine room. Ah, COD. No, oh, wait, way out. I'm back here! Ah, Call of Duty! Ah, Where there's... are these amazing camping spots there's... that people use? Oh, I don't know, there's the spa. Actually, I do know, uh, one of my friends who came and checked this out to see if it was like legit or not, said he likes to camp up here. No. I don't know. At the other room, at the top, where there's a hole in the window. Uh, <laughs> but didn't put the boats on the front, I thought it made the deck look too cluttered. And, you know, at the front here is still the same. And at the top there's supposed to be a white chopper, but I kind of modified it for my own purposes. Because, you know, why not put some Halo with your card? Right? Halo card is, you know, it's it's a thing, right? We, we can do it. 
But that's the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 map hijacked, which will be making its debut soon. Woo, God. Uh, <laughs> but continuing on, continuing on, like I said, me and Zach are Australians. I mean, we had the White House over there. Why not put some Australian icons in here? Uh, like the Harbour Bridge. I mean, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. And I thought that looked perfectly great, matching uh, this. It's the Sydney Opera House. So, you know, as far as house construction goes, you know, I've got two pretty good houses here. You know, I've got the White House and I have the Sydney Opera House. I mean, what, what, what more could you want in house construction, right? Right? Right. Right! <laughs> So that's that's my house, the White House, and Zach has the Sydney Opera House. You know? What? What? We agreed on that, right? You, I get the White House, you get the Sydney Opera House? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah! Uh, actually, I didn't think I got either. Oh, well, I get the White House, because that's, you know, more important. Uh, so I did. I built it all. I built it all. All me. You built nothing in this world. The only thing you did was help clear land. And do yeah. some of the redstone. But another community requested build is to build a pirate ship. So there's a pirate ship. And this just isn't any pirate ship. I figured, you know, might as well go for something popular. So, uh... It's actually the Black Pearl. From Pirates of the Caribbean. And, you know, I'm probably rushing these, the views of these builds, but... We've got a lot to cover. Like, a lot, a lot. So, that's the Black Pearl. So we're going to continue on. So in this city, we've got government with the White House. You know, we've got entertainment with the theatre of the Sydney Opera House. We've got a clock tower. We've got some uh, boats out in the harbour. But for entertainment, not everyone likes culture with the theatre of the Sydney Opera House. So we've, uh, we've got a sports arena. Might look familiar, we did a how to build on this. Hey, Griffball. Griffball. And now for a massive, massive build. I figured, you know, you got government, you got entertainment, but to do all this, you know, in real life, you need to go to school. I figured, how do you go to build a school in Minecraft and make it look awesomely cool? Well, that's easy. You build Hogwarts. And I'm not joking, this took me like, what, two, two and a half months to build? And as you can see on the map, I'm like almost smack bang in the center of the map here. And this is how big it is. You've got uh, one of the holes. I'm just gonna go through a little flyby here. Actually, I'll go from the, from the front. You know, you've got the greenhouses, you've got the hole. You got one of the common room areas. Uh, you've got the the uh, science and archery, uh, uh, not archery, astronomy tower where uh, Dumbledore dies. Spoiler, spoiler alert there. Uh, I don't know what this was. It's been a while since I built this, but it it was just huge. There's the bridge where Potter chucks off the. Uh, the wand of Voldemort. And in here we have the Great Hall. Only part that I decked out inside. So you got all your lovely candles and torches and everything. Looks looks pretty cool. You got your table. Hey Zach, do you want to uh, get sorted and get put into a house? Uh, sure. Would you like me to teleport you? Uh, in a second. Too late. Oh, okay. Uh, that's, that's aye, 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 I saw that in your hand. <laughs> Here. You ready? Ah, oh, I failed. Wait. Wait, get, get, get off the table. You can't stand on the sorting hat table. Eh, there you go, there's a sorting hat. Alright. Slytherin. <laughs> go to Slytherin! But yeah, that's... Uh. The sorting hat decrees it. I'm Harry Potter, I can choose what I want. You're not Harry Potter, you're Sergeant Johnson. Sergeant Johnson does what he wants. <laughs> Which means go to Slytherin. So, 
There we have the uh, Gryffindor Tower over there. Actually, do you know what? Let's take a quick nap, eh? Let's get this place in the in the light, because this place is pretty big, and I failed to light it up. You just look weird with a gold helmet on, man. Can't believe you're stealing Hogwarts sorting hat. <laughs> Mine. Oh, I can't fly. I'm not a wizard. So, and like, I've, we've had to clear all the land for this and remodel it all with the wall. We've had to do all the redstone lighting. And uh, just to show you like how much, how big this is. Like, we've even got the uh, other hall here with the clock. And we've even got the bridge that goes out to... Shit, I forgot the name of the place. Uh, it's Hogsmeade, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, see, I remembered. So there's the bridge there. I mean, I haven't decked out that side yet because that's the edge of the map. And I don't know what to put there. But that's... Remember how I was in the middle of the map? That's where I am now, right down the bottom. Like, this place is just huge. And whether or not I do it, how to build in this isn't... Oh, pardon me, is another question. So, from space, if I can load it all in, that, uh, that's Hogwarts. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Gotta go a little bit more to the left. To the left, to the left. A little bit more. Hey, there's the wall. So that is how big Hogwarts is from space. It doesn't even fit in a space chunk. It's that huge. And it's just impressive and massive. But I suppose, better show the one thing that you all came here for. And that's some Halo. But on the way to Halo, we'll show you the redstone wiring. Because every single lamp that you've seen in this map so far is all just hooked up underneath the city here. And it all runs off of one switch. So one flick of a switch and the whole city goes dark. Which, you know, we'll show you that when uh, it comes night time again. Might even do a bit of a montage for it as well, you know. Because why not? I would also appreciate it if you did at the very end, just in case. We're going to do it right out. at the very end, just in case if you lag out, because I... God forbid I want to spend another 15 minutes for you wanting to load this map back in again. Because yeah. it it seriously took Zach 15 minutes to load all of this in because of both the redstone wiring and how massive it is. So what we've explored so far is I'm the white arrow. And as you can see what I'm looking at on the right there, that's all we've explored so far. So uh, Halo is right behind me. So I suppose we better get cracking on that. Are you blowing up are you blowing me up? No. no. Why would I do that? There. No more oh, tang tang. The map still says I'm over there. Ah, oh, well, I don't care. I teleported you to me anyway. Alright. Halo! Because that's what we all want to see. Alright. So. I build vehicles. You all know that. But uh, why build vehicles? Let's uh, chuck some buildings in there, hey? And let's go with the Alpha Base from Halo 3 ODST, hey? I mean, it's a good start to the uh, to the Halo Tour. I mean, I changed it a little bit differently because I figured this is my version. Why not make it the Admin and Archives building? But it's sort of decked out the same way on the inside, you know? You've still got your lifts and your elevators and your glass panes in the corner there. Each corner. Look, you can even... <laughs> Activate the lifts because that's pretty cool. And uh, then out the back, I just, like I said, modified it again. Made like a little, little waiting room area with the big giant only symbol on the ground. Because why not chuck a big giant only symbol on the ground? And then coming up next is probably my favourite building. Uh, reminds me of Fort Unto Dawn. It's a space tether. Nice and big. And just like the Opera House in Hogwarts, it is completely empty. There is nothing in here. The whole thing, just top to bottom. Because like I said, Mega Builder, I am. 
interior decorator. I am not. And it's like, and it's also two stories. Top and bottom, nothing in there. But out the back, there is a uh, pelican landing pad. Oh, look at that, there's one sitting there. And it's black. Been paying attention to that? I know I sure have. But, uh, there's a space tether complex. It's, uh, completely symmetrical. And absolutely massive. And inside, probably didn't, probably should have showed you this, you can actually, on the top floor, take a ladder all the way up to the top. And it's pretty obvious what I've got up the top there. I mean, if you didn't see it just before, you probably guessed, like, what I've got up there. Ah! If you didn't guess it, well, I'm going to show you. It's, 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 it's a frigate. And it's black! Because I, I figured everyone makes theirs out of smooth stone. And I'm no exception, I made my first one out of smooth stone too, but you know... I've been building the black halo vehicles in the videos and I figured, I wonder what a black frigate would look like. And, uh, i got to say, it looks pretty freaking awesome. Do me a favour and teleport me to you. Why? Because, uh, um, I, like, I flew off again. You're right next to me, I can see it on the map. What? I can see it on the map. You, I'm, you... I'm at the frigate, oh, I'm at I the see top. It. So yeah, there's the frigate. Docked at the space tether complex all the way down there. So that that is <laughs> what? Oh nothing. You're thinking dirty somewhere. <laughs> I'm just thinking uh don't worry, you'll find out later. Okay. And there's a broadsword. Also black. Alright, continuing on. Yes, that's right, that was a new Halo vehicle I just showed off. Oh. Uh, if you were playing in survival, you would go for a little walk along, along the bridge, onto this road. You know, you can you can see the Oni building, you can see the broadsword. Uh, but you know, all this all this cool stuff. You know, you guys are probably hyperventilating. So let's start, go with something gold. We'll go with the motor pools. Something something familiar. You know. You know, you got the scorpion, the grizzlies, the elephants. You know. Green and blue, just like in the other Halo base. You've got the typical runway. You got the pelicans in their hangar bays, you know. It's nothing special. It's nothing special, you know. You guys seen all that before. Uh but something new ish. I mean I did the saber, but uh I didn't do it like this. It's on a launch pad. Uh waiting and ready to go. So this is where the booster rocket came in that I didn't show how to build because I didn't think it looked good. Uh, I still don't think it looks good either. But this was actually based off of the Halo Mega Bloks version uh, countdown. The launch pad was not off of Halo Reach. So you got your two, two sabers there ready to go on launch. Ah, oh. I'll actually go through the sky bridges in a sec. But while I'm up in the air. From Halo Wars, we have the uh, double reactor. Which, you know, why not have the double reactor there? And this actually did get decked out inside a little bit. Because this, the Halo base, actually has its own power supply, which is this. That lever will get rid of all the redstone lights in the Halo base, which includes the space tether as well. Whoop. You know, I even did an upstairs, because why not chuck an upstairs up there? It's... it's... just there. I mean, I have no idea what the Halo Wars reactor inside of a... <coughs> the inside of a Halo Wars reactor looks like, so... That was my interpretation. Alright! Now, a Halo base needs, uh, some sort of defense. So, why not put the mash driver cannon in from the end of the Halo Reach campaign, eh? And Zach, if you'd actually like to do me a favor, 
Would you like to jump in the firing part? Whoops, not a leader. Sure thing. You gotta get in underneath. Um... In underneath. Alright. Because in the front of this, there is actually a TNT cannon. Which button do I press? Uh, just push them all. Yep, you set it off. Ha! Mass driver cannon for the win. So there's the uh, there's the base defense at the moment. There will be more. There will be more. Uh, continuing on, continuing on. Uh, you're probably looking at this building, going, "What the hell is that? That doesn't look like anything from Halo." Well, this is true. I mean, it's my operations center. And, uh, by Operation Center, I mean it's just this. And for those of you that haven't just crammed your pants and worked out what this is, uh, it's the Halo Reach multiplayer map, Sword Base. Alright, so, just to do a quick run through, I actually did deck this out as best as I could to the actual map in Reach. So, I forgot what spawns down in this room. Zach, you play Reach more than what I do. What spawns down in that room there? Um, nothing really. I'm pretty sure there's a needle rifle or a plasma repeater somewhere around here. Ah. A couple of grenades. Ah, uh, and there's the... There is one thing he forgot. You people that play, have played this, no. Session of Living Dead, Shh. will notice... Yes. There is the, um, those camping noobs, they use the man cannon to get up onto a platform here, and yeah. Yeah, it's right at the other end there. Okay, I don't play Living Dead, okay? But you have the back staircase there. You have the spot in there. Uh, there's plasma grenades in there, isn't there? Or are they over here? I forgot. It's been a while since I played. Doesn't look like that. Uh, I know the uh, energy sword spawns down here. I always remember that. Yeah. Uh, what else did we have? What else do we have? Do not spawns under this bridge? Uh, the grenade launcher. Or, in some variants, the Snarf Rifle. That too. I know plasma grenades were always there because I would always pick him up because I was better with sticky nades than I was with, um... Frags. Frags! But yes, yeah, so I even put the, all the ledges in that you can go out and run on as well. And I did make it so that you could make this jump, but I have never made it since I actually made it. Go. You fail. Oh. But yeah, you've got the garden up the top here with the pot plants. Hey, that tree's missing. You've got your uh, glass balcony, you've even got your little camping spot for those that are, you know, campers that suck. And you can fall down. Don't worry, you don't take too much damage. Ah. And the grav lift room that everyone camps in and throws grenades and spams and hides and... Oh, I hated that room so much. But continuing on. Uh... We'll go downstairs Best first. Best room if we're doing a 4v2. Just armor lock in there, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, I know the shotgun spawned here because that was the weapon I'd always go to first. Be like, SHOTGUN! I WANT THE SHOTGUN! Me too, to be honest. Yeah, because the shotgun was like way OP in that game and I freaking loved it. It looked the best, it sounded the best, it handled the best. Alright. People thought that if we're on blue team, you couldn't get there in time to, like, before the reds. However... Blue team spawns over here. All you have to do is jetpack up and you could get it before them. Yeah. But uh, to compensate for the grav lift, I couldn't obviously do that. So I built the next best thing. Whoa. That's it. It's just a piston that raises up and down. But it's on a delayer, so you know. Did All right. Did you drop TNT? Yes, I did. That was a TNT I used to put in the mass driver cannon. Alright, uh, okay. so in the campaign you'd normally go out this door, do a U-turn and shoot down a bunch of um, banshees and phantoms. But I decided to uh, use it to p connect a sky bridge up to the uh, saber launch pads. So that brings us back to the sabers. I thought that was actually kind of clever. So you can go to each, each saber launch pad. And wherever else we going? Uh, what do we got? Vehicle entry point to runway. Oh yeah, that's right, that lowers the sticky pistons. Which I don't know if everyone just saw that. And then over here... It, the Oh yeah, we're in the traffic control tower. 
So the levers here, turn the lights off on the runways. Like, I'll just flick that. And there you go, you can see it turns them off. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm just going to turn it back on. Alright. There. So, where are we done? Ooh, something new. Something new. Okay, so, from Halo Wars, we have the Cobra, sorry, free mode Cobra, and the Wolverine. So these will be coming out uh, whenever I get off my ass and make them. But, yeah, they're fully functional, fully working. So we've got Cobra, Wolverine. Uh, ones we already shown how to build is the Wraith and the AA Wraith. Anti-air attack. Uh, moving on, moving on. Same as always, where there is green, there is blue. And then there is light blue. And then, ooh, pardon me again. We have the mammoths. Plural. Green and blue. Typical. And just to keep it going, something new, again, from Halo Wars. Uh, we have the, uh, <laughs> it's quite big. We have the Halo Wars air pad. And look at that. We even have a Falcon sitting on the top there. And just while we're in the pretty air. Pretty black looking. It is pretty black looking. Just continuing on. I mean, we have the uh, vehicle, depot from, vehicle depot from Halo Wars as well. And uh, there even appears to be a tank under construction there. It looks like a looks like a grizzly tank there is getting constructed. Just uh, just thought I'd point that one out. <laughs> but then we have some hornets, green and blue, and then ah, uh, the vultures. Seriously, look how awesome they look, green and blue. I love the blue one. I was stoked when I finished building that. I was like, yes, that looks awesome. And then we have some. Uh, uh, Falcons! Falcons! And then, something new. Again, we have the uh, Spirit Dropship. Psst. With their own little landing pads. So we have purple, and we have, uh, we have blue. And that's, uh... Spider webs. Yeah. Jizz! Spider jizz! And, uh... <laughs> That's actually it for the tour of the world, but that said, I wanted to put so much more of it in, I just didn't have the time. Like, I literally even rushed this Halo base here, because it, you can see, like, the vultures are just, they don't have any land below them. And even over here, I didn't even finish off the lights, because I just ha rushed it. So, hopefully, in the two-year anniversary, if there is one, if I'm still doing this in two years, there will be so much more, because hopefully you can put this into the Xbox One version and just expand and expand. Oh yeah, that reminds me. The uh, entire Halo base is built over a snow biome. And to stop everything covered in being covered in snow, we had to com completely cover the roof in with a uh, glass, which you can see up the top there. So that took forever. But uh, we'll get a get an aerial view of the Halo base when it loads. When it loads, <laughs> there's just so much stuff here. It's just taking forever to load. Ah, oh. there we go. So that is the new and improved Halo base from uh, last year and six months ago. But uh, if I had more time and more space, there would actually be a Covenant Corvette parked where I am right now. And if I had a bigger map, the Pillar of Autumn would be somewhere out there. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the one year of, you know, putting up with the pair of us. Uh, thanks for supporting us, watching us, laughing at us, abusing us, and, you know, sharing all this great stuff with us. We hope you enjoyed it and stay. Ch hope you'll stay with us for another year or two. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, and hope you were paying attention to see where those black halo vehicles were.
Uh, let's stop.